Dear students, today we will further explore the insult ribbon and we will focus on a group known as illustration group. So these are the topics which will be covered in this module. We will add pictures, online pictures, shapes, smart art, chart and screenshots. So let's start the practical. So I have the same uh, blank page opened at my uh, computer. So I go into the insert tab and in the illustrations group. So here are the things which we will cover in this module. So first of all, in your uh, document, if you want to add some of the pictures, so you can go over here and whatever picture you want to add, for example, if you want to add this picture, so this has been added. And whenever you work with the pictures, always try to uh, stretch out and stretch in the pictures from the corners. So if you do like this, so that would not uh, make any difference in its resolution. However, if you uh, drag it from here or from here or from here, so any horizontal or vertical uh, midpoints would not be the correct way to stretch out or stretch in the pictures. So you need to do it from these corners. So this one is okay, this one is okay, this one and this one. So you can add uh, such pictures wherever you want in your document to make it more impressive. Uh, then there are, uh, there is another option known as online pictures. So if you click over here, so if you have a, a internet connection, so you will be directed to the uh, internet and you can select any picture that will be pasted over here. So you need to try it at home. Then there are different shapes available. So let's first delete this picture to make more space. Uh, for example, in your document, if you are interested to add some of the shapes like this one or some other shapes. So you have such options in the insert shapes. So you can see that there are variety of shapes. So for example, if you want to add this shape, so this will be added, right? And similar other many, many shapes are available. So you should try uh, to make some impressive uh, overall picture using these shapes at home. So you can see that there are variety of different shapes available. So whatever shape you click on will be added to your document. So you can see, right? So the next thing is uh, smart art. So in fact, if you have an idea and that idea can be represented using a visual layout, then you should go into the smart art. So for example, whatever the idea or whatever the information you want to present to the user uh, belongs to any of uh, these ideas. So you can select this from here and that will automatically be part of your document. So for example, if you say I have an idea of cycle, so I want to represent a cycle that there is a stage from one to three and up to uh, so on. So for example, if I select this thing, so you can see that this shape has been made available in your document. So you do not need to worry about uh, the size of the circle. You do not need to worry that if you add more text, then you need to stretch um, the size of the circle. You just have imported this thing over here and then you can change the name, for example. This is your text and for example, you say that this is uh, analysis. So you have seen that the text uh, font size of the text has been adjusted automatically when the world was uh, having a little bit more, uh, need more space. Then for example, you say this is 
design implementation and so on so i wanted to represent something uh, in software engineering uh, the software development life cycle which we have learned in some of the previous modules so i have used this way so there are many many other ways available so let's get rid of it by pressing control z and uh, you can add many many such things in your document so this will really enhance the visualization of your document for example if you are interested to display a hierarchy a picture organization chart so you can select this and then you can see that this is the head of the organization and then there is a second level and then third level so you can add just their name over here and here you can add their pictures as well so such kind of things can be really visualized in a better way then uh, there are different charts available so if you are interested to add any charts like uh, the column chart line chart pie chart anyone so you can just need to select the appropriate one like for example this one this one this one and you say okay so you can see that this chart is available over here and now you can change the data so for example you can say in first quarter i have a sale of 10 million then 5 million 2 million and 20 million so this has automatically shifted so you can see the fourth quarter has as four, uh, 20 million sale so that has been made more visible so it is comprising of larger a portion of this pie so such kind of things you can add to your document wherever necessary so then there is the last thing which is screenshot which means that whatever windows are already open and you want uh, the picture of that window in your uh, current document so you can just click over it and it can tell you that here is another window here is another window so for example if i select this one so the image of this window will be pasted over here so this was the already opened window where we were discussing the uh, table of contents and topics of our today's module so we have learned about the illustrations pictures online pictures shapes smart art chart and screenshot so you can try these things at home and these are really amazing so let's summarize today's module we have learned about the illustration group and we have uh, practically performed different tasks in this group and we have added pictures online pictures shapes smart art chart and screenshot so in the next module we will further explore the next group available in the insult river